Hello and welcome to another edition of Now You Know Sports. I'm DJ Murphy. And I'm Brian Hand. And we have some great topics for you this evening. A little bit of football, a little bit of baseball, but to start off, we're going right into the NFL. And now the season has started a little bit, we can kind of see, you know, who has surprised us, who has looked good, who has looked bad. So, uh, Brian, what are, what are your thoughts on the NFL season so far? Well, uh, I've been disappointed with the uh, New England Patriots. I mean, they are, they are one and one, but if it wasn't for a late fumble in the week one against the Bills, uh, they could easily be 0-2. And, and also the defense has been uh, pretty shaky. And I've, I've just expected more now that Tom Brady's back. And, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. With uh, the Pats, they're just a little, little uneasy, a little uneasy so far. But, I mean, they'll probably turn around with Belichick and Brady. Uh, I've been a little disappointed, um, a little surprised by the Steelers' offense. I really thought with Willie Parker there, uh, Mendenhall at running back, Roethlisberger at QB, they'd really be rolling after the Super Bowl victory. But they've struggled the first couple of weeks to score points. Um, we'll see how that ends up. I mean, they're lucky that they have such a tough defense because they didn't have a tough defense. They would be looking at a very long season right now unless Roethlisberger can start getting going with that offense. But uh, who has looked good in your mind so far? Well, I've been impressed with the Jets, uh, especially by rookie quarterback Mark Sanchez. I mean, he has, has a lot of pressure uh, playing in New York, but he's looked good, especially against the Patriots in Week 2. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Uh, Sanchez has looked good. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling right now the San Francisco 49ers, my home team, uh, looking good so far with that running game, Mike Singletary controlling that defense. Uh, they've been two NFC West opponents, so that's, that's pretty good right there, including a Week 1 opening victory at Arizona, the uh, Super Bowl runner-up. So... No, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling okay about the 49ers. We'll see how the season goes, but I'm sure by the end of the year, I'll be disappointed by 49ers, and Brian will be happy with his Patriots, as, as what normally happens. But, uh, yeah, let's move on right now into baseball. Playoffs are here. They're right upon us, and Brian and I decided to get out our crystal ball and start predicting World Series. Now, I'm feeling the Yankees-Cardinals matchup right now. Pujols and the whole New York lineup are just... Too tough to beat, in my opinion. I think that will drive both of those teams to the World Series, but I know you have a little different picture. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to go with the hometown team again with the, the Boston Red Sox. Uh, they've been playing, playing great lately. Can't bet against them. Uh, definitely going to win the wild card and take them to the World Series for sure. There you go. I mean, I'm, it's tough, man. I, the Red Sox, a little bit too much Red Sox mania going around here, but whatever. I'm going to stick with the Yankees Cardinals. Hopefully that will be better than some of my previous predict predictions on the show. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go Red Sox or Red Sox Yankees Cardinals World Series. But moving on to our third and final topic here is BC football, and uh, you know, BC football. We've had pretty two. Uh, we've been spoiled the past two years, I would say. Spoiled the past two years, but Brian, how are you feeling so far on this? Well, I have to say that I was disappointed in the uh, in the BC offense on the road. Um, certainly have high expectations for them, and hate to see them get uh, get shut out by the. Uh, just shut out, you know, like in general by uh, the defense. His offense is really right. struggling. Just, you know? just been outmatched lately. Yeah, and I've, uh, I don't know, I, I, I feel like they need to settle that QB competition to, you know, get a stable person. Here's the leader in the huddle. You don't want, you know, several guys, different voices in the huddle speaking up. You want one guy, one QB in the huddle. I don't even know who that's going to be right now. I don't know if it should be Tuggle or Shinsky. I'm leaning towards Tuggle, but I don't know, right now they aren't, neither of them are looking that great. But I'm going to lean towards Tuggle to be the offensive leader. In that, uh, in that huddle. But uh, that's it for this edition of Now You Know Sports. For Brian Hand, I'm DJ Murphy, and let's send it back to the desk.